Welcome back to Reasonable IT Service, your go-to full-stack IT support company where we deliver successful results at competitive rates. Let's talk about Waza. Waza! So Waza is a security information and event management system abbreviated as S-I-E-M, pronounced as SIEM. It's a very powerful tool that provides log analysis, intrusion detection, vulnerability detection, and other security monitoring capabilities. Think of Sentinel-1 and 365-ish if you're familiar with that. Today, I wanna to show you guys how we can extend the functionality of Waza by basically making it an intrusion detection system or at least giving it some IDS functionality. And the way we're going to do that is we're gonna integrate virus total into Waza and I'm gonna walk you through the process. First thing you're gonna do is install Waza on your server with this simple one-liner curl command. Just copy and paste it as I've done here. Give it a few minutes to install and when it's completed, it'll spit out a username and password for you that you can use to then log into the front end of Waza. To get to the front end, you're gonna go to HTTPS and type in the IP address of your server in which you've installed Waza on. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the password. Make sure not to get any spaces in there. Admin for the username. It'll run through a couple of checks and then take you straight to the dashboard. I've already added an agent. If you would like to add an agent, you will click agent, deploy new agent. Here you can select what type of agent you'd like to deploy. You're gonna choose Windows. You'll put in your server address where Waza is installed. Give the endpoint a friendly name that you're gonna be monitoring. And I'll actually show you what this looks like. As you can see, it gives you a command to run. Log on to that client and you'll run this command inside PowerShell. And then you'll run this to start the Waza service. Easy enough. After you go through that step, you will have a Windows agent added to your dashboard. Let's enable the virus total module. Click this little down arrow here, go to settings, modules. By default, the virus total threat detection and response is disabled. Click that little circle and it'll turn on. So what we're gonna do is access a configuration file on our Windows endpoint. It is located in this directory. We're looking for the ossec.conf file, which is right here. Go ahead and open that in Notepad. And as mentioned, we're looking for syscheck. We can do a find just to get to it faster. And you just wanna make sure that for disabled, it says no. We're gonna add an entry to syscheck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell the Waza agent which directory to monitor with this code right here. And for this variable, you do need to put your username or the username of whose downloads folder you wish to monitor. I believe I've already done this as well. So we can just search a snippet of this code. Okay, as you can see, this is the way I put my username in here. Don't do it like this with the left and right arrows. You want it like that with no arrows. Once you do that, you wanna save your config file and you can go ahead and close it. Download the Python executable installer from the official Python site. Let's copy this link, go to our browser. I'm gonna minimize that for now. We will grab the Windows installer 64-bit under stable releases. Go ahead and open the file to run it. What you wanna do is add Python exe to path. Let's do a custom installation. The rest looks fine. And I'll check back with you once it's installed. Should only take a couple of minutes. Setup was successful. Let's see what we got next. Once Python completes the installation process, open and administrate PowerShell terminal and use pip to install PyInstaller. Let's copy that. Let's open terminal as admin, run as administrator. Yes. Let's try running pip. Okay, pip is already installed. I've already done that. I think this informed me during the pip install that there's a newer version and then you can just install a new version, that's fine. Create an active response script, remove threat.py to remove a file from the Windows endpoint. This is the whole script here. Let's go ahead and copy this and we're going to create a Python script 
So since we've installed Python, we can open the idle and we'll paste in this script. Now that I've pasted in this script, let's go to file, save as, we're gonna call it remove threat.py. We'll save it to the desktop for now. Pull it up from here and then you can import it. File open, desktop, remove threat. So what I was getting at is I wanna say this actually top header text here was causing me issues. So I recommend deleting that. Now let's go save. We're gonna be converting that Python script to something Windows can use. Since we stuck it on the desktop here, this makes it easy and that we can just do PowerShell, excuse me, navigate to desktop first and then do PowerShell. You shouldn't actually have to run it as admin in this case per se, I'm already admin. But what I mean is you don't have to right click it and run as admin. This should actually suffice right here as long as you're logged in as an admin. We can simply run this command, but then specify the file name. So we're gonna do a backslash. We're not gonna specify a directory because we're already in the correct directory. So we're simply gonna specify the file name itself, which in this case is remove-threat.py. Wait, is there a space here? There is a space here. Do enter. Once it's done, it should spit out a remove-threat.exe on the desktop or in the same directory where the Python script was. And I think this tells you as well, see? Copying bootloader to C user's desktop. So it's in here, it's in this folder. There it is. Move the executable file to C program files x86 OSEC agent active response bin. I should already have mine there, but let's navigate there and find out. I do, remove, remove threat. Very good. At this point, you're gonna restart the service name Waza. By the way, you can, I don't know why I'm clicking and highlighting, you can simply click this little copy button and then paste it over. Okay, what's going on here? This is because I didn't run PowerShell as admin. So let's go ahead and run it as, run it as admin. There we go, you get no output return. Perform the following steps on the Waza server. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and minimize our agent and get back to the server over here. So we're gonna add a couple of code blocks to the OSSEC, OSSEC comp file on our server. A sudo vim var OSSEC etsy OSSEC.com. Okay, before we do that, you are going to need a VirusTotal API key. Just head over to VirusTotal, sign up, sign into your account, look for API key up here at the top and you'll get your free API key. I already have mine. You will need to modify this block of code to include your VirusTotal API key. It tells you right here. A Little bit of a confusing part is, do you include these brackets? No, you don't. You are going to put your API key in this exact spot. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code block. We're gonna open up that config file. Shift G to get to the bottom. I for insert. I'm at the bottom of my file. And I'm just gonna paste that in. That should do it. Escape colon WQ for right quit. That part's done. The free virus total API rate limit requests to four per minute. This is gonna be significant because that means the monitoring is essentially limited. So I'll show you guys when we get there, but basically if you keep downloading a virus over and over to this same directory, it's only gonna block the first few or, or up to four, and then it'll, it'll stop until it reaches like a specified time and well, per minute, right? So until you wait another minute. Append the following code blocks to the Waza server. Okay, so we gotta do some more editing of this config file. Let's bring that same file back up. Let's jump to the bottom once again with shift G. Let's do an insert and we're gonna copy this code block, paste it in. Escape colon WQ for right quit to save changes. Add the following rules to the Waza server. Okay, we're gonna go into a different directory this time. I'm copying this path. I'm gonna do sudo paste in that path, 
vim. I'm gonna do I for insert. And same deal, I'm going to just go to the very bottom of the file, copy these code blocks, paste them in, escape colon wq for right quit. We're done there. Restart the Waza manager to apply the configuration changes. Same deal, copy paste. There's no output back. There we go, just returns you back to the server prompt. Okay, so now we are essentially done here, but my testing is going to be a little bit different. I wasn't having a whole lot of luck with this. We're gonna do testing another way. Let's go ahead and pull up our agent once again. Here's our Windows computer. I'm going to be getting a test virus from Icarus Security Software. You need to disable uh, Windows Defender because if you don't, then it's simply going to nab the virus before we can see any activity from Waza. Go ahead and open Windows Security, go down to Manage Settings, and you want to turn off the real-time protection. Say yes to that. Real-time protection is now disabled. Let's go to Downloads. Let's delete whatever's in here. Let's kind of get these side by side so we can actually see what's happening. So once again, here's the EI car test virus. Download, hits my downloads folder, and it just stays there. Oh, there it goes. It's gone. Fantastic. Let's try downloading another one. Yep, there it goes. Bye bye. Subsequently on the Waza front end, we can come over here and check out some of that activity to see what's going on. So let's go to integrity monitoring, for example, go to events. And as you can see here, we can see several deletions happening. So there it is. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? Waza, it's free. It's open source. It works on Mac, Windows and Linux, which is very impressive it's highly configurable research it guys check it out this thing is i feel like sort of a game changer and this is a very powerful <laughs> amazing tool i'd even consider using this for a client if you enjoyed that please remember to like and subscribe support the channel guys take two seconds of your time and just like the video subscribe we're really trying to grow this channel these videos take a lot of time and effort to put together if you're looking for other ways to support the channel head over to our buy me a coffee or check out our ebay store links are in the description and until next time i'll see you in the next video